any of that changes, but I think what you're going to get from him is the spirit of who this guy was and how optimistic he was and um, how he lived as full a life as he could. Did he, did he manage to also raise some awareness over these last 20 months? I think so. He was very reluctant. Um, he was suffering from stage 4 pancreatic cancer, which is devastating. 75% of the people who get it die in the first year. So on some measure, he outlasted that. He was reluctant to talk about the specific treatments he took, I think in part because, like a lot of celebrities, it, it's, it's your individual choice. But I think in terms of, uh, of struggling with what pancreatic cancer is, and how devastating it can be and the work that needs to be done. He did a lot. Go without saying he'll be on the cover of People this week. Absolutely. All right, Larry, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Good to see you. Good to see you. 36 after the hour. Back now at 7.50, and of course we're remembering Patrick Swayze this morning. The 57-year-old actor lost his battle with cancer on Monday. Well, we've talked a lot about his movies and his gift for acting and dancing. Also, just a good guy. That's right. Back in, in 2005, he made a surprise appearance right here on our show when we made a dream come true for a woman who was a big fan of the film that made him famous, Dirty Dancing. Take a look. We have someone else here. We wanted to give you a spin out here on the plaza. I think you might recognize this guy from Dirty Dancing. Patrick Swayze. I think so. Absolutely nobody puts Donna in. <laughs> so hit it, guys. Nice moment. Such a yeah. great really moment. cool, especially for Donna. Yeah, absolutely. And again, our condolences go to Patrick's family. We're back with much more on a Tuesday morning, right after your local news and weather. Just knowing I've tried to give something back. John Travolta's visit near the end, and reactions from co-stars Demi Moore, Jennifer Grey, and others. Patrick lived a thousand lifetimes. Do you swear to tell the truth? Michael Jackson. Most watched entertainment news magazine in the world. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. And I'm Mark Steinis. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. The heartbreaking phone call came into our newsroom at 5 Pacific time yesterday. Patrick Swayze loses his battle with pancreatic cancer. Well, tonight, his famous friends remember the man who had the time of his life. <laughs> Patrick lived a thousand lifetimes in one life. He played my brother twice, and uh, so I feel like I lost a brother tonight. My heart goes out to his family and his wife. There is that saying, you get busy li living or you get busy dying. He passed away here in California at home on his ranch. But tonight, new insight into his final days on Earth from Inside Us Weekly on Stan's Friday. On September 9th, he had a final consultation at Cedar sinai when he was told doctors couldn't do anything else for him. He wanted to go to his ranch in New Mexico, but doctors felt he should be near the hospital. Good pal John Travolta visited Swayze near the end. A close friend says he passed away with wife Lisa, brother Don, and mother Patsy by his side. We can show you the cover of his memoir with his wife that hit stores September 29th. I spoke to him and he was an inspiration. Former co-star Rob Lowe at the Toronto Film Festival, Fran Drescher at the Badgley Mishka Fashion Show in New York, and his Dirty Dancing co-star Jennifer Grey tells us, Patrick was a rare and beautiful combination of raw masculinity and amazing grace. And his ghost co-star Demi Moore says in a statement, I will miss you, I love you. And she also it's quotes amazing. this famous line from the end of their film. The love inside, take it with you. I want to live. Since his diagnosis with pancreatic cancer in early 2008, he would not admit defeat and even shot the TV series The Beast in the midst of his battle with the disease. I'm a miracle, dude. Yeah? I don't know why. 
The last photos of Patrick looking fragile in a wheelchair still can't dim the memory of the man who melted hearts and revealed his own strong spirit. If I leave this earth, I want to leave this earth for just, just knowing I've tried to give something back. We have had so many wonderful moments with Patrick through the years and some conversations we will never forget. Still ahead, how he felt about dying. But first, Jay Leno at 10 p.m. kicked off with a bang and a big exclusive. Patrick Swayze's chilling conversation about his own death. Our lost interview with the star in seconds as we look back at his time with Entertainment Tonight. So many. It was a subject he talked about with us. I've got this thing inside me that will not let me quit. Keeps me pushing. Life's important questions were never far from the surface when talking to Patrick. Acting is the first challenge in my life where I will never see the end. Beneath the on-screen bravado, this native son of Texas was a man unashamed to share his vulnerable side. For a long time, I, I was scared that there was nothing inside me that anyone would care about or that all I was was this machine, what I could do with my body and what I looked like. And, when I started to like myself a little bit, I realized I could like other people, I could like the world. I love you. I love you. And there at his side from the time they were teenagers, Patrick's wife of 34 years, Lisa. Sometimes I feel like we're Siamese twins, <laughs> you know what we, I mean? We, we'll even talk we, we and think not a lot sentences. In 1999, he told us how they kept their romance strong through the years. You just get inventive and creative with uh, uh, how many hundreds and hundreds of times you can, you can re-fall in love. You renew that commitment. You rejuvenate it. You work at remembering why you love this person in the bad times. Hopefully Lisa and I will have, you know, by the time we die, we'll maybe have careers like Gable and Lombard or, or Tracy and Hepburn. Whenever anything good in my life happens, I'm just afraid I'm going to lose it. While filming Ghost, Patrick told us he was deeply affected. I realize I'm dealing with, with experiencing my death, seeing myself in a coffin, and that's freaky. It gives, me, it gives me goosebumps to talk about. He tapped into his feelings over his father's death to film this scene. It did come up a lot, and I used for the character seeing my father in the coffin and, and what that did to me and my legs collapsing, and I couldn't, I had no physical body control. Mainly, though, Patrick said making the movie focused him on the joy of being alive. It's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to have somebody you're in a relationship with that you love and, and have dreams and goals and desires, you know, and it's got me uh, uh, really glad to be alive again. He will be missed, but never forgotten. And tomorrow we'll reveal the lost screen test Patrick did with Jennifer Grey for Dirty Dancing. And we'll be back in seconds with the man of the day, Da Vinci Coden. Ain't the outpouring of emotion over the loss of Patrick Swayze has been global, and one can only begin to imagine the depth of pain his wife Lisa must be feeling. Well, tonight, we're going to take you back to one of our many moments with Patrick as he talked about children. For like the last five years, I've really had the itch to be a father. The year was 1987, and 12 years into Patrick and Lisa's marriage, the actor gave some clues as to why they hadn't had any children. I feel I'm, I'm in a place now where I throw off the least amount of junk on a kid. I think I've handled a good part of uh, my, the in insecurity and things in my life that I might throw off on a child. Yeah. I was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa had a slightly different take on things. As far as kids are concerned, we're just waiting to see if we like each other enough first. first. <laughs> see if we get along. <laughs> and I think we're getting to the point where we just about think, think we, we can, can get along about. together. <laughs> they both joked about it then, but nine years later, Patrick was a little more serious about the subject. For a long time, I was scared to be a father because I knew I, I was still in too much rage and, and you know about my youth and past. And, uh, and uh, uh, I thought I would, you know, create a rebel without a cause and now I think I could create a rebel with a cause you know they never did have children at least not of the two-legged variety I'm glad you guys mad at me instead they shared their love with their horses my nickname for him is dirty white boy a white horse is very difficult to keep clean he's a sweetheart the bond was plain to see when we visited them on their ranch 20 miles northwest of Los Angeles good boy Cody they're like a barometer of where of where you're at as a human being 
You know, I mean, if you're in a bad mood or in a bad place, uh, it's going to translate to that horse, and that horse isn't going to work for you like he's supposed to. Basically, we came out here because uh, it's great to be able to go out your back door and see your horses. As, as life goes on, we want to become really good trainers. It's going to take a lifetime to do that. And though Patrick's lifetime was cut short, he packed in a whole lot of living. The stars continue to send their thoughts on the loss of Patrick, and if you would like to read them, just go to ETI.